I'm going to be in the VG camp as well. I'd love to see this OG draft work, but uh, I think that AM and Quap are going to be hard to control. So, level one Monkey King stuff. Stop with this Real level thing. one garbage. Jesus. Get a grip, Cinder. Oh, mid lane. Looks like we're going to get a kill one way or the other. No tail. Resigned to right click, and Ori will take him down with first blood for VG. A very unexpected outcome that a mid lane dominator wins against a hero that literally never plays mid lane. That, that was a hero. Dazzle was also in mid lane in Dota 1. Really lion, Lich, and Dazzle. Occasionally you'd see them in mid lane. Lion, the blast from the past. Oh, Lion mid. Those were yeah, the That was that a Firestorm really. coming out, but here comes the Sun Ray. It's going to try to heal up Resolution. You get the Boundless Strike up. That's another kill for Vici. Oh. Looks like a courier was sniped by Jerax, an offlane Spirit Breaker. At what point do you. Like, obviously, if you're playing four positions, it's a little bit easier. We might see a kill here. In fact, the Thunder Strike will be enough to take him down. Fenrir takes credit for that. At what point do you start ganking with this hero very often? I mean, oh, Jerax on the other side, level two right now, despite getting that courier kill, which is a little bit of a surprise, actually. Um, this is something that has a tendency of happening oh, in the current Nice pack. block off by Paparazzi. Oh, S4 nice. dead again in that bot lane. Um, in this patch, there's this tendency that if you're safely trialing for an extended period of time, you just get really low levels because pulling got nerfed a lot. It's not really that impactful anymore. So OG having to play three heroes up here so much, whereas VG are playing two, that is why you see this support level discrepancy. Disruptor is almost level five. He's the same from dying more than oh. once. Firestorm top, but the shackle coming through. Resolution with a lot of right-click damage. The boundless strike is enough to go. take him out. In the meantime, we have a charge onto the Elder Titan, Lan M. One more right click should do it. And I believe they were charging him while he placed a ward, so if S4 was paying attention to the inventory, might be able that to deal with that right away as well. That. And this this is the thing, right? Like we not because it's bad for him to stay in lane, it's just his lineup probably requires his help to do something meaningful. Oh resolution to Sonic Wave hits two. It's not enough to get the kill as of yet. Young Eleven trying to track down that monkey king. He'll find it. At least Fly gets away. Nice try with the Koei, level 5 right now. Fenrir, this is very rare in competitive Dota, that Disruptor skill like this. Oh, young 11, he is in quite a bit of trouble. One more auto attack should do it, a resolution, another kill to his name. Nice melee hero, Ice Frog. Yeah, that, that actually is, is a weird 600 thing. attack range play. Yeah. Oh, That's bottom lane, Jerax has found here. Fenrir. Yep, Jerax is there, but Paparazzi's here oh, he's as well. Six. Shackle into the charge, but the charge is on the AM. Mana Boy not doing a whole lot, but the auto attack do finish off that pesky OG hero, so a kill going Vici's way. There's a lot of back and forth action early on this game. A better use. Dazzle. Absolutely. Charge into the AM. Doesn't look like anything's going to come of this on the side of OG, Land at least not yet. Lanam on the way, the glimpse is there. See if they can actually finish him off. Paparazzi, no mana void. Only 25 oh, seconds. Nice, that. nice charge from S4. And he will get away safely. And Jerax here for some support as well. Didn't see he had a soul ring. That's All right, very tell, nice tell me this. I, again, I'm going to keep going back to this dazzle. I okay. love asking you questions you don't know the answer yeah, to. You're going to see a shackle here first. No tail. Shadow wave is there. Echo Stomp coming out for Lan M. Oh! Not soon enough as he does go down to the right clicks of No Tail. Now, the question I was going to ask you, my. Six at minute 10. And this is a disruptor that went for an uncharacteristic roll of three and Thunderstrike. You might need the damage here. Oh, All right, Sonic Jarek's Wave died. completely blows up Jarek. S4 with a Nether Strike showing that is online now. But again, Vici Gaming completely surrounding him. Damn, he died so fast on Chaman. He didn't even get a spell off. Like they're gonna even attempt to defend this Vici. And got some monks around here. Toffee huh? coming in. We got a Sunray onto two and a charge. of Statics arm being placed along with the Shackle. Lots of damage being applied by OG. Can they actually finish anybody off? Elder Titan's first Underlord is next. But here comes the Quap. The egg is going to explode, it looks like. Don't think it's going to connect on anybody. It's Fenrir attempting to get out of dodge, but that's going to be another kill going the way of OG. Sunray coming into effect as well. As for healing a bit as a result. Ori thinking about going back in. Doesn't have Sonic Wave for another three seconds, but. Could blinking and get a double, even a triple kill potentially. He's gonna try for it. He gets one only. Make it two. Ori on the run, getting charged on the backside. Resolution with a couple more right clicks. Should be able to do so. One takes him out. The mana void does literally nothing. And Resolution looks like he's gonna give up that no tail life. Oh, he jumps to a tree out. and tree dances away. Paparazzi is gonna continue the pressure potentially. So that Jesus, this game, man. That move from OG I really like because they they know that they're under pressure and under the clock here, so they have this wave. I believe Battle Fury isn't there yet. Not quite. Very, very close. The charge is actually going to continue on. Nether Strike is available into the Sunray. Lots of damage being applied to Young Eleven, and the cancel TP means that Vici will have to lose that hero. 
Take this fight as OG without Monkey King having skilled ulti yet and without Shaman Wards. This can go really oh, wrong. Yeah. Eleven shows the charges coming into play with the Sunray Poison Touch as well. He's very low on HP. S4 going in pretty deep. The egg is even applied. Young Eleven will live through the day, but space created and more damage being done to the tier 2 bot. Question is, will Vici try to defend this one? They are doing a lot of damage themselves to the top tier two, so it might be a trade. I think OG will probably retreat since they blew both their Nether Strike and their Supernova. And that is effectively Vici getting a tower and defending their own. See if OG can somehow get Paparazzi here. S4 is charging in really quickly here. Yeah, charge, yeah, but no Nether Strike. Decent distance. I think he's going to have to get a couple get this, maybe. good bashes. Boundless Strike to Bash. start. S4 praying nope. to the RNGs. RNGesus. RNG gods, RNGesus, whatever. You get haste through. Uh, he, he is a dazzle. Decent man. And he was mid. Classic frontliner. <laughs> nice a couple of mids. He's going to get a glimpse into the static storm. He actually applies the shallow grave beforehand, but something tells me he's not going to get out of this one, Cinder. And he dies. Yep. Great foresight from you there. That, Thank you. That would... Resolution working towards his favorite item in the game, Echo Saber. He buys it on every. I think it it's is. Just game. for the glimpse. He needs to be able to maneuver fights against Underlord. Uh, he can negate a lot of damage from Queen of Pain. Oh, Resolution, uh, big boundless strike. Fenrir taking tons of damage. He's gonna go down in a, in a heartbeat. Resolution faking Wukong's command. Thunder Strike still applies, so they have clear vision of him. That's a one-man <laughs> army. He just ran through the Radiant Jungle alone with that haste rune and just found a kill. Sometimes confidence gets you everywhere, even if you have zero skill. You know what? Just think about that. What? What? I don't have any confidence. <laughs> when you see Shiki, so you can feel more confident. Oh, like double reads from the Underlord. Sunray trying to keep his teammates healthy. They're going to turn this around. Young Eleven getting quite low as well, and all they trade is the Dazzle, although he is a core. S4 in the meantime, trying to get out of mid, but not able to do so in time. Jerax. Paparazzi mid right now. We have a smoke gank attempt here from OG. Let's see if they can actually catch someone off guard. Jerax jumps in, gets the hex off. A nice pit of balance on to three. Balance strike with the Sunray coming into play as well. Young Eleven. He's getting quite low. He's going to get another strike. He's going to be first casualty of this fight. Early shallow grade. We see the egg coming into play as well. Paparazzi has to run away for now. It looks like the Monkey King resolution will die. So it's a one for one right now. It's S4 trying to charge. It's not after six seconds, so another static storm kinetic field. There's the, the circle wards are placed, but it looks like it might be in, in vain. Not the most effective wards. The paparazzi actually jumps in right into a hex. As far as in Shadow Blade, there is a really wants to, to play. continue the pressure here. Shadow Strike applied to No Tail. Paparazzi gets the mana void, destroys him. Oh, another glimpse, glimpse into the kinetic field. Jerax looks to be next on the list. The shackle does not last more than half a second. Double kill for paparazzi. And if you're looking at the net worth, just look at the two. The, the mid and the core, or the, the carry for Vici compared to Roche. By the way, that fight, I think, was well, a sunrise. Game. MVP of that fight, Young Eleven, with that extremely good pit of balance. He died right in the beginning of the fight and had a huge impact. Glimpse, no detection, though. Just being annoying and from this right now. But of course, the anti mage upcoming Lincolns will still. Oh boy. Well, actually, that's not going to be enough damage with the Orchid Burn. And here comes another strike into the Sunray. Another bash coming into play. Ori trying to get Dark Rifted. It's not going to be in time, though. Young Eleven will have to take himself back. But you you need something bigger. Antimage now has the Lincolns. He's going to keep ramping up. The gold advantage is going further and further in the... Toward VG is just a given with the lineup. Oh, oh he man. actually just blinked it to Jerax. Yeah, and the Lincolns is online. Static Storm, Kinetic Field, Wukong's Command placed by Resolution. S4 stuck inside that Static Storm. It looks like he's going to be finished off first. Paparazzi now chasing Jerax, who has Hex in one second. Lincolns. But the Lincolns is there again, and there's the root from Underlord. It looks like Jerax is next on the list for Vici. On the backside, though. Oh, never mind. It looks like Resolution was in the trees. So a two for one. Jerex, well, Paparazzi. Okay, bottom lane. Paparazzi getting hit by Sunray into the nether strike. He needs another bash for this. He's not going to find it yet. He's going to finish off Fly first. It's a poison touch applied by No Tail. Paparazzi getting extremely low. Blinks away. Might be taking down the, the poison touch. Not sure. And it looks like Vici Gaming will lose the Aegis, but that's, that's an okay consolation for them. Is they're going to glimpse back S4 and find a double kill for Fenrir of all heroes. Three kills. Was Vici that? finding yeah. everything they want right now. Three kills and two tower. Oh, on Nullifier. It's really fast. I think it's the same speed as E-Blade, right? E-Blade's not that fast, though. Like, it's, it's pretty fast. You could dodge E-Blade pretty easily, though, with a BKB. I'm actually not Don't completely sure about the speed. It okay. depends how close the yeah, enemy is. If you jump in melee, yeah. there's nothing you can do, really. That's true. You can definitely react when a Nullifier's in the air if you're expecting it. 
Um, but you need to immediately see the Quap going in and realize what's happening. Oh, Red Soul, they're going in here. He's jumping in. The wards are placed, and the Quap is getting pretty low. The Sun Ray coming in. He's going to pop the BKB, and the first to fall is actually Shadow Shaman. He already placed the wards, already getting extremely low, not able to blink out the safety. So, one for one in OG's favor so far. Thank one you. for one in OG's favor. Yeah, it very is nice. Their, it is their favorite. It's a, it's a core for the Shadow Shaman. Why? Why do you question me in these situations? Oh, we're gonna have a glimpse though. This could be bad. Fly able to Icarus dive out, but Paparazzi's coming in to finish him off with that mana void. I think they're gonna hunt here. And no tail. The mid dazzle. We'll see what he can do with his life. Nice balance strike from resolution. And he's gonna turn into a tree to try to fake out the opponents. Paparazzi tried to quell him there, but he quelled the wrong tree. If he would have found resolution there, that would have been sick. And maybe even a lena barracks, actually. I don't think you try to warm them up. Oh, oh my them. god, Monkey King gets stunned for four seconds. Echo Stomp is coming in, and it looks a oh, nice shallow grave from No-Tail on the sidelines, but Resolution is super dead. 76 seconds on the deck, but does have buyback like you said. Paparazzi trying, trying to, to find a glimpse pressure. here. No-Tail hiding inside oh, these two little nice, trees. Actually. Pretty nice play. Glimpse, he's able to step outside of the kinetic so field. Good. I know it's good. Oh, that was beautiful to watch. Just as beautiful as the quell from Paparazzi there on the Monkey King. Big kill. Just as we talk about it being a possibility, he actually pulls it off right after. Oh boy, Jerax. He's gonna go in here. Very aggressive play here from Paparazzi, just blinking into the base, but has the necessary information. Feel safe and not die here. And no tail. Lane. Taking damage from those illusions. They want this buyback. Oh, absolutely. 36 it. seconds. If he doesn't buy back, he... Potentially this is Rax. It is. He will have to do it eventually. Yeah. He's gonna do it. Paparazzi trying to blink out. There's the Pit of Malice. Young Eleven just gonna pop, pop down. Dark Everybody rip. get in the boat! Oh, he's gonna take them all the way back to base. And they got two kills on their way out. Unbelievable. Two dead even for to OG. That, yeah, well, he regrets it now. Sometimes you, you get an Uber, you regret it instantly. But. Yeah, bad driver. One star for Young Eleven on that one. <laughs> It's, it's it's a really hard situation to yeah. assess, right? And Bybeck at the same time, it was nice to sit up. Oh, speaking of which... Yeah, they're gonna try to go for this. Pit him out. Jarek's field as well. Indeed. Jarex does have a Ghost Scepter, so to stay alive a little bit longer. But trying to create as much space as possible before his inevitable death. Paparazzi was a double damage now. And no Rasta. So this is a tier 3. Probably a Rax. Wukong's command is up. Nether Strike as well. He's trying to cut down trees. He's looking for Monkey King. Weave is ticking right now. Boundless Strike is going to hurt this AM really a lot very soon here. And they might just disengage and wait for Weave to run out if they want to respect it. Looks like that is actually happening. They're just playing in the back line Fake for a little bit. Strike forces out of four staff. But this barracks is in a lot of trouble. We have the Static Storm Kinetic Field placed. Dazzle is dead. Boundless Strike comes out. Decent damage overall, but Ori able to blink out to save through that BKB. Resolution pounding into the illusion that spawned from Paparazzi, who's going to continue to pound upon the flesh of OG. Melee racks down, and pretty much nothing lost for Vici. Great timing from Vici there on the engage. They respected it just until the end of Weave. Oh, Fly gets Yule. Yeah, Glint. Glint has nice to field. And done. Resolution looks to be next on the list. A beautiful boundless strike and charge, but they might be too far behind at this point to come back in this game. Resolution healing up with that Jingu Mastery. Nice shackle shot. Nether strike as well. Ori's dead. Could buy back if he really wants to try to finish this game, but a double kill for Jerax. Is OG able to salvage this at all? Young Eleven, Dark Rifting. <laughs> that was a close call there for Jerax, but not able to find the kill. So OG hold on, but it's very expensive. Yes. And I believe Roshan will throw that kill. That's really bad. Instead, they get a 100% safe Rosh, knowing that they have forced the Shaman back to base. Aegis and Cheese. I think Cheese will go to Ori. Nope, never mind. We'll give the Aegis to Ori and the Cheese to Paparazzi. Paparazzi, very difficult to kill at this Glimpse point. Glimpse on Phoenix. Yep, into the kinetic field, and the bash comes out. Oh, we do have a Yule. Looks like S4 is going to come up with that charge. Another strike combination. It has the BKB now as well. But the Phoenix is lost, and No Tail with the BKB of his own. Resolution pop, Bukong command. Only one member of Vichy inside, though. And we're just going to reposition. On the other side of the map, we have Jerax trying to hold off against Paparazzi and Ori, but that is not... Oh, oh they're going to find it. They're going to find Resolution. That's a double kill for Paparazzi. 
And that's four dead for OG, and you have to think this is the beginning of the end of game one. Of yeah, this it's best gotta of be game. This should be Megas or just end. Go straight down mid. This is a 2 1 4, but Vici's cores are looking very healthy in this situation. GG's GG's back gone. and realize this one is done. Vici Gaming looking very strong, although we did say at the beginning of the game that we felt like the draft advantage did go to yeah. Vici. OG kind of struggling with the AM, finding a way to answer it, and end up with a, an unorthodox dazzle mid. Vici